These people are not leaving. They come in there to fuck you up. He walks up on me even faster in a more aggressive manner. So when he did this, my natural instinct Hey, what's going on? It's Big Guns and Pistols. I'm back with another one, but today I want to do things a little different, and this is something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. So what I'm going to do today is I want to tell you all a story, a story that took place back in 2016, a story that I think many of you can learn from, and a story that I learned a whole lot from. Because you got to remember, wisdom needs to be passed off so that one could benefit from it. You can benefit from looking at the experiences that others have went through. So I want to tell you all mine. So this is going to be something that I do quite a bit. I want to tell you guys stories. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you will, press like on the video. That helps the channel out. So I'm going to walk you through step by step of what happened. In 2016, I used to work in a call center. What happened on this particular day, I ended up having to make physical contact with another employee there. Now let me tell you a little bit about this employee. Me and this guy, we were pretty cool. There was times where we had some good conversations. Our cubicles used to be next to one another. He was a pretty good guy, I, or at least I thought he was. You know, we never had a problem. We never been into it with one another about anything. We never had any discrepancies about anything. This particular day was a little different. So let me walk you through so i was sitting in my cubicle and he was about four or five cubicles down the cubicles are pretty big so it's a little spacious during downtime you know i was kind of saying this song to myself reciting some lyrics to myself now i wasn't loud about it you know nobody could really hear me loudly now you can hear me not too much i'm not disturbing anybody again there's a lot of downtime now i'm not rapping a whole damn song just a few lyrics. He heard me doing it, so he decided to make a joke, which was cool. Me and this guy, we were pretty cool with one another. Keep that in mind. So he decided to make a joke, and he was like, you need to shut the fuck up, boy. We all laughed about it. I made a joke back about him. Now, I don't remember exactly what it was, but I made a joke back about him. Now, after I made this joke back about him, I think that he felt somewhat embarrassed. There was about three different girls who were around. These were girls who he knew well. I didn't know much of them, although I seen them around, but these were girls that he knew pretty well because I used to see him with them or talking to them on a consistent basis. I think he felt slightly embarrassed. The reason that I'm really mentioning this is because this is going to show you how when women are around, guys tend to do a lot of shit that they wouldn't normally do. When women are around, guys tend to want to look more tough. They want to appear more hard. They want to appear more solid. They want to appear that they're this quote unquote alpha guy. And I don't even like using terms like that. They want to appear more tough than what they really are. So after us joking back and forth, you know, for a couple seconds, you know, I'm still in my cubicle, he's still in his. And we're just kind of talking back and forth, you know, cracking jokes on one another. And some of those things that were said as he and I were joking back and forth with one another, he began to say things like, He'll beat my ass. Making threats along that line. He's making them in a playful way, but as every second goes by, I can tell that he's kind of getting more serious. And I remember saying to him that, not me. I'm not going to be the guy you whoop. You ain't going to beat my ass. I remember saying some things along that line, but I just wanted to throw that in as I remember. So I kind of turn around and I proceed to look at my computer screen and some things that was on my computer screen and I notice him behind me. Now this is a tall Mexican dude, tall Mexican guy, you know, large guy, you know, cause I'm about I'm about a, almost 160 pounds. I think I'm about 156. This guy, I'm 5'10ish, about 5'9, 5'10. This dude probably 6'1, probably near 200 pounds. Now the reason I'm saying this and telling you all these details, I'm painting a picture here. Follow me. So as I'm sitting in my cubicle, I notice that he's behind me. 
He's kind of behind my left shoulder and he's saying something to me. I don't remember exactly what it was that he was saying. But see the difference as I look back on it there were women around. I don't remember what it was but he's saying something to me. What I do remember is I didn't like what the fuck he was saying. What he was saying was in what I took to be serious disrespect because what he was trying to do was call himself trying to check me. Now everything to him that is is getting serious now. Although I thought he and I was joking cuz again, me and this dude, we never had problems. We never had a problem with one another. We used to be cool as hell with one another at work. I'm confused about why he's coming up on me. Now when I notice him behind me, I stand up. I remember I told him I say, hey man, you need to chill the fuck out. He was saying some things and I don't remember exactly what he was saying, but he was saying some things. Now, this is the part where it gets more serious. Because you know how you kind of take something a little serious, but you don't think it's gonna go far. This is where he's starting to, he, he's, he's getting too close to me. Now, I'm not a guy who has ever in my life allowed someone to invade my space in such an aggressive manner. I'm starting to see the aggression in him now. Now, if you know my history, which you don't, but I'll tell you a little bit, there has not been a time, whether it's been in my high school years, whether it's been in my middle school years, especially in my adult years, that I would allow someone to get close to me and invade my space. And the reason for that is you should never do that. You never know what somebody is thinking to do to you. You never know what somebody might try and do to you by you allowing them to invade your space. So in high school, in middle school, even in my adult years, anytime somebody has invaded my personal space, in an aggressive manner, I struck their ass in the face. Whether it been the nose, the eyes, the chin, I have always hit first. Every time. Every time. No exception. Anytime I've ever been in a hand-to-hand -hand combat, it was because of them invading my space. It was because of them coming up to me in an aggressive manner. So I hit and I will continue to do that. I don't care too much what the circumstances are. You do not give people the chance to harm you or to do something to you that you can't recover from at that moment. I make sure that I think through these things. I make sure that, cause again, I know that I'm a little smaller which means that I'm much faster, typically. I know that many of these guys, you, you can't even match my speed. Now you, you'll be bigger than me, and in many cases you'll be stronger than me, which is why I'm not going to tussle with you. I know that your footwork is not like mine. I know that you cannot match my speed. But anyway, anytime something like that happens, I strike first. Again, now he's kind of aggressive. So I kind of put my arms up and I say, hey man, you need to back up. And again, I don't remember what he's saying, but I'm telling him you need to back up. Cause I told him, I don't know what the fuck your problem is. Because at that particular time in my head, I didn't get it. Why is this guy acting like this? Why is he behaving like this? Why is he being aggressive with me? Why did he even get up out of his cubicle, which is four to five cubicles down Walk all the way down to my cubicle trying to check me in an aggressive manner. I can't be checked by you motherfuckers. See, a lot of you people, you call yourself trying to check somebody. You call yourself trying to put someone in their place, which is what he thought that he was doing. So when I put my hands up and I kind of like slowly created distance, he grabs my arms. Now, when he grabbed my arms, I'm like, man, back the fuck up. I do not want to get fired over this shit. This is what I'm saying. I can remember saying these things. I can remember saying, dude, back up. Cause I do not want to get fired over no shit like this. As he and I kind of let each other go. Cause this was only probably, we, we only 
this probably only was about three seconds as we're I'm kind of trying to create space by putting my arms up and he's grabbing my arms so I kind of you know slightly pushing back a little bit and then I back up now when I back up there's a great deal of space between us now he's he's kind of cursing me out you know saying curse words at me things like this now you have to remember all of this shit is taking place so fast back to back one one situation you know it's all taking place so fast and i can remember starting to see out of my peripheral people who standing up watching but in the midst of this you don't really see nobody who's watching because all of your attention is on the threat all of your attention goes to that in which that is being aggressive. One of the girls who were, who he was cool with, they kind of get in front of him and they're like, stop it, stop it, stop it. And you know, chill out, that kind of thing. This motherfucker, he, he's not faster than me. You're bigger than me. You're taller than me. You weigh more than me, but you can't match my speed. He kind of moves the girl to the side and then he, he walks up on me even faster in a more aggressive manner. So when he did this, my natural instinct, I swung, connected, struck him, and he fell, hit the ground, and he was unconscious. I wanna make sure that I keep it all the way real with you. I didn't even intend to knock him out. I really didn't. Now, I know that my punches are accurate because that's really important to have an accurate punch. It's all about the placement of a punch. The same way it's about the placement of a round. If you ever have to defend yourself and you're putting rounds on target, it's about shot placement. And if it's physical combat and you're striking someone, it's about placement as well. So when I hit him and he fell and it's all registering to me, he, he's not getting up. I said to myself and I kind of threw my hands up and I said, this is the shit that I did not want to happen. Because I already knew was I I already knew what was going to happen. I already knew that I'm going to be fired over some shit that this individual started. Over some shit that this motherfucker initiated. So again now when he fell, he's kind of slightly up under the cubicle desk and everybody they're kind of and I'm looking I'm now I'm starting to see the people's reaction you know because nobody expected something like that to happen in a workplace and I remember when I turned around I kind of threw my hands up and I'm like this is the shit that I did not want that I saw a lot of people standing up looking watching some people were coming over and I, I even remember one guy he said yeah man I saw him you know, I saw him run up on you because to me, as I'm thinking about it, it didn't even have to go this way. It really didn't. It didn't even have to go this way. I didn't walk up on him. He walked up on me. So I remember his girlfriend coming over and she's running up to him on the floor. She's trying to get him up. But I remember her saying, you, you, you get out of here. You get out of here. That's what she said. Now, of course, she don't know what happened. She wasn't there. She didn't see what went on. I just remember that happening. And a lot of the people, they was looking at me like, hey, you know, we didn't expect that. Nobody expects that from a guy like me. Look at, I'm, I'm slim. I'm about 155 pounds. Nobody expects somebody, you know, of my size to react in that manner. To actually lay a motherfucker out who's twice his size. Most people in society or pretty much nearly all of them they believe that size matters they believe that the bigger you know you got this uh, you know you probably got somebody who 150 pounds you put them up against somebody who 200 pounds or somebody who's 230 pounds that 150 pounder ain't got a chance this is how people think and see when people underestimate you and they underestimate your capabilities it will work for you you can use that to your advantage after that happened i remember just turning around Walking out, and I kind of walked out the uh, the whole entire, uh, it, it wasn't the building, but it was the area onto the outside area where the cafeteria was. And I remember as I'm walking, people was like, damn, damn, and all this kind of thing. You know how people, how they react. I can't believe you did that. You laid his ass out. And people smiling and shit. They think it's funny, but I ain't think it was fun. You know what I'm saying? They think that that kind of stuff is 
um, entertaining. And to some degree it is, but to me, it ain't funny to me. Because I know, okay, now I'm about to lose my job. I'm about to lose this income, even though I already have another job. But still, so that's pretty much what happened. And as a result of that, I ended up being fired. I ended up being fired from this place. And there's something that I want to say also. I know that many people might say, well, you should have went and told a supervisor. You should have went and told someone. You should have contacted a supervisor or try to go and get help right away. You must understand that these things take place in a matter of moments. Nobody's thinking about a damn supervisor. Nobody's thinking about going to tell, especially when the supervisor isn't reachable. These things take place so fast within a matter of seconds. You have to remember, and I want you guys to always remember, when you're inside of the work environment and you're on the clock, on or off the clock really, but you are not allowed under any circumstances to defend yourself. That's a no-no. It does not matter if somebody's coming after you. It does not matter if they're trying to if they're trying to engage you in a physical altercation none of that matters and this is what i really want y'all guys to listen to none of that matters it really doesn't i've seen this time and time again not just with my own experience it's all about politics you need to remember this see people keep saying well you know, certain situations, they say, oh, it's not fair, it's not fair. Get that fair shit out of your head. It's all about politics. So, of course, I'm suspended, waiting to be terminated, because I knew that that's what they were going to call and do. They do not care that this man approached me. They don't care that he walked all the way down to my cubicle. They don't care that he invaded my space. They don't care that he was making threats. See, what HR does is they try to make, they will make it appear as if they've done an investigation. They will make it appear as they're really trying to sort things out and get to the bottom of things when really that's not what they're trying to do. It's about politics. Understand this. It's not about fair treatment. It's not about just treatment. Everything is about politics. I will give you an example. It, let's say, I don't know, let's say if you working at McDonald's, you working at Menards, it don't matter where. Let's, it doesn't, let's say you working at Walmart and you're ringing somebody up and the, the customer gets upset with you and hype, they just come around the damn counter and they trying to beat your ass. If you fight them back, your ass will be fired. Remember this, it does not matter that they engaged you. It does not matter that they probably threw things at you, that they approached you. If you throw a punch, if you fight back, if you decide to protect yourself from this attack, your ass will be fired. You need to know this. You need to understand this. You may hear people tell you that I'm wrong. You may hear people tell you that that's not true. Your ass will be out of a job if you decide to defend your safety. There has been an innumerable amount of situations where an employee has been fired simply and purely for protecting themselves. You can't do that. Can you imagine working at a damn McDonald's? You're at the drive through window. And then, you know, they, they upset about whatever the hell they're upset about. They're throwing things through the window. Next thing you know, they park the car. They're coming in the damn McDonald's. They come behind a counter and they're trying to fight you. Your ass is going to be terminated if you dare defend yourself. See, the thing about this is when somebody's approaching you 
or if somebody's coming after you, somebody's trying to fight you, somebody's trying to harm, you don't know what they're going to do. Let's say if somebody approaching you aggressively, you don't know what the hell they may have. They may pull out a knife and stab your ass and it's over for you. It's over for your existence. It's over for your life. It's over for you seeing your family. It's over for your children seeing you. It's over for your children experiencing that fatherly love or womanly love or motherly love. Whatever you want to it's over. You cannot afford to see what they're going to do. To wait and see. I don't want to wait and see what somebody's going to do. If you approach me and I see you, I'm going to react in a manner that is going to preserve my safety. Believe it. The system does not hold self-defense in high regard. This is the reason that there's so much crime taking place. People are off the damn chain. This Look here in Chicago, you got shootings all over the damn expressway. I'm not even gonna get into that, but I'm telling you right now, wherever you work, I don't know where y'all guys work. I don't know what, listen, Imagine somebody trying to attack you. You can try and do all of that grabbing them and trying to restrain them. That stuff does not work. Sometimes you need to ball up your fists, put some power in it, and knock their asses out. I'm telling you, man, this is a very dangerous system that we live under. And the problem is the overwhelming majority of the people don't understand. That's why you have innocent people in jail right now who should never be there. But again, about this situation, as I see this guy, where he, he was trying to show off in front of those females. That's what it was because he's never done that to me, but he's never acted like that toward me. But see, once a so-called man feels that he's embarrassed and women are around to watch, oh man, he's gonna do all kind of stuff he don't normally do. This is why you have so many killings and fights when women are around. Guys don't know how to act when women are around. I'm telling you guys, when women, let's say if you have two guys or men, it's all men, no women are around. And you know, you got two guys, they may be talking shit back and forth to one another. It's all jokes. You know, it's all jokes. But when you add women, into that situation, he's going to, if he's not a solid, secure man, he's going to react in a manner that's going to try and make himself seem like he's tough and hard. Oh, man, what, what? Man, I know you ain't talking to me like that. All because a damn female is around. I've seen many different situations where a small argument turns to a killing simply because these guys are trying to act like tough hard lions in front of this damn woman and one of them end up killing the other one and then the one who killed him now his ass is going to jail these are not see true men they don't behave that way true men are solid and secure within their heart, within their soul. So it doesn't matter who's watching. I don't, <laughs> I'm gonna watch my language before I get, <laughs> but it doesn't matter who's watching. What you say to me bouncing off me, it is, man, it's bouncing off me. It don't mean nothing. But you have guys out there that's so soft and feminine and insecure that when a woman's around, Oh man, they missed the tough guy now. And that's what that guy was doing as I thought about it. Later on, that's what he was doing. I'm telling you, them damn females, he was trying to behave as a tough guy in front of them. And it escalated and it got out of hand and he ended up getting embarrassed. You guys better think with your mind. Stop allowing your feelings to lead your punk ass. I want y'all guys to be mindful when it comes to protecting yourself. 
teach this to your children. You men need to teach this to your sons. I can go on and on about this. It's a never ending topic. And I got plenty more stories that I'm gonna tell. As far as I'm concerned, how can I be in the wrong? Even when you look at police officers, <laughs> they can't even really defend, well, they got more liberty to defend themselves than the average citizen, that's for damn sure. You guys be safe and you be careful. The system we live under is something else. I hope that you guys have learned something. I hope that I maybe said something that provoke some thought because I'm telling you right now, if you are at work, you are not allowed to defend yourself. We're gonna cut out all of the bull crap. We're gonna maneuver around the nonsense and the wordplay. You're not allowed to defend yourself in a work environment. Understand that because you let somebody come up to you and start punching you in your face. If you punch them back, and if you engage in a physical altercation, they are going to fire you. But if somebody comes up punching you and you don't punch back and you sit there and you get your ass whooped, get hurt and harmed, I guarantee you, you will still have that job. I'm telling you right now, had when that guy walked up on me for that second time, had I not done anything and he knocked me out, or punched me in my damn face or started beat, I would still have a job there. Well, not now, of course I would have been left, but I would have never been fired at that particular time. I would have never been fired. A job is not trying to get down to the bottom of things. They're not trying to sort out the particulars. Now, we both were fired. What I'm trying to do is tell you all, when it comes to being at work, you, you got, I'm telling you, you got to walk on this line. You got to walk this straight line. God forbid if somebody try to do anything to you, you better hope not. But, and it's a lot of dangerous jobs out here. And I'm saying all this too, because you got people out here that are really losing their lives. They really are. They're really losing their lives at work. You got people out here who are working jobs. People are coming up to their jobs because they know where they work to hurt them or harm them. And they don't want to, you know, this, no man, I, I don't, just go, just leave. These people are not leaving. They come in there to fuck you up. And you got people are getting beat. All because, number one, they're scared to defend themselves. Number two, they don't know how to defend themselves. Number three, they're scared to lose their job. And that third one, to be scared to lose your, you are going to risk your safety because you're scared or, or you're concerned about losing your job. Wow. This is why you have to financially prepare you never know what's gonna happen and when it's gonna happen I think I said enough here if I'm wrong about something fine let me know let me know what I'm wrong about let me tell you something if I can do this all over again if we can rewind to 2016 and I can do this all over again I would have hit that motherfucker the first time he walked up behind me. I gave him a chance. He's lucky that I didn't take off on him the moment he was standing behind me. Big guns and pistols. I'm thinking about starting a podcast, especially when I start to get more engagement. Protect yourselves, people. I got many more stories that I want to talk about. I got many more stories that I want to tell you. Big guns and pistols. Make sure you subscribe. Peace.